If you want to be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, click that link in the description to join the free Courtside Financial Discord. What's going on, everyone? My name is Obi, and welcome back to the Courtside Financial Podcast, a podcast where we talk about business and technology. In today's episode, we've got some exciting developments to unpack from Xpong, which could have some significant impact on the overall EV market, including a company like Neo, which we all know and love. So this is going to be a super interesting, uh, insightful episode. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, click that notification bell icon, and please leave a comment down below. Your engagement really does go a long way in helping out the channel helping us to reach a broader audience and continue making videos. So without further ado, let's get into today's episode. First up, let's talk about Xpong's latest announcement that they're moving away from LiDAR, a technology that they were the first to mass produce in 2021 with the P5 model. Instead, they're introducing AI Eagle Eye Vision. This technology is now going to make LiDAR optional in Xpong vehicles. This is a huge shift, especially when you consider that just a few uh, years ago, LiDAR was the prominent technology for achieving high level autonomous driving. Now, Xpong uh decision to cut lidar is is driven by a combination of cost cutting measures and the belief in the future potential of vision system much like tesla's approach but what does this mean for neo well neo has obviously also been uh investing pretty aggressively in autonomous driving technology but they've taken a different path by focusing on a more integrated approach that combined cameras lidar and of course some other sensors this approach is more expensive but of course it with that being said it aims to provide a more robust solution under real world driving conditions so while xpong's banking on banking on cost efficiency and following tesla's lead neo's doubling down on a more comprehensive albeit costly approach the key question here is will xpong's uh decision to ditch lidar pay off or will neo's decision to a multi uh, faceted approach with autonomous driving proved to be more effective. From where I stand, Neo's approach, uh, while it is more expensive, offers a broader safety net, especially uh, when it comes to complex driving conditions. Let's switch gears and talk about the new M03 from Xpong. This vehicle is priced at about 119,000 uh, yuan or 16,000 American dollars. It's aimed squarely at BYD stronghold in the EV market, where cost effectiveness is key. This move by Xbox is a clear attempt to undercut rivals and capture a larger share of the, mar the market by um, positioning some more affordable EVs with basic intelligent driving capability. Now, why is this important for NEO and us as NEO investors? NEO's positioned itself as a premium brand, offering luxury EVs with cutting edge technology. But with competitors like Xpong aggressively targeting the lower end of the market, there's risk that NEO could get squeezed. If consumers start seeing more value and cheaper alternatives that still offer a decent amount of autonomous driving features, I would say that neo has to rethink its strategy and its position in the market but there are a couple steps ahead there's the envo brand there's the firefly firefly brand both of which are going to be cheaper than neo and they're going to help them in their foray into the mass market but it's interesting to see that xpong's vehicle is going under its main brand how is that going to affect uh kind of the market dynamics that these companies have going on we'll have to see. Also on the flip side, uh, Neo's premium strategy in the main brand might actually shield it from low cost competition. by continuing to offer superior, superior quality, um, design and service, Neo can differentiate itself in a crowded market. I think that the key for Neo will be to maintain its brand cachet and justify its premium pricing through continuous innovation and superior customer experiences, of course. So where does this leave us in the broader context of the EV market. Xpong's aggressive pricing and shift away from um, 
LiDAR could shake things up, especially as they aim to carve out a niche, a niche in both the budget and tech driven segment. However, this also opens up opportunities for a company like Neo to double down on its strengths. By focusing more on an integrated approach to autonomous driving, Neo could position itself as the go-to brand for consumers who are willing to pay more for a safer, more reliable, and luxurious driving experience. This is where NEO's investment in battery swapping technology, NEO houses, and premium customer service would really pay off. But there's also a warning here. The market is rapidly evolving and consumer expectations are also in turn rapidly shifting. NEO will need to continue its innovation and continue to explore how they can make more affordable models, whether that be um, under the Firefly brand or the Envo brand without diluting the premium brand image. In conclusion though, Xpong's moves are definitely something to watch and keep your eye on. They might disrupt the market, but I believe as a NEO investor, of course I'm biased, that NEO has the tools to stay ahead. And that's if it plays its cards right. As always, I'll be keeping a close eye on the developments in the electric vehicle industry and specifically what they mean for NEO. If you found this video useful, helpful, um, at the very least entertaining, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you click the notification bell icon, hit the subscribe button, um, and leave a comment down below. All your engagement really does go a long way in helping out the channel, so we thank you. Uh, we'll see you in the next installment of the Courtside Financial Podcast. Thanks for watching.